Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all well and having a really good day so far. Today I'm going to show you my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick collection. I've got 33 shades and I'm going to lip swatch all of them for you so you're going to get a really good idea of what these colours look like. Before we get started, I would love for you to like and subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. The lipsticks are one of my favourite products in Charlotte Tilbury's range and I've been using them for a few years now. I've got three different formulas in my collection. The Kissing Formula, which is a high shine hydrating formula. Matte Revolution, which I would describe as a comfortable matte. And also the Pillow Talk Diamonds. This is more of a sheer formula with a gold reflect. I'm going to show you them formula by formula. Let's start with the Kissing Lipsticks and this is my favourite of the three. First up we have the shade Nude Kate and this is described as a light pink tone nude. I believe this is actually named after Kate Moss. And this is what Nude Kate looks like on the lips. Please bear in mind that I do have a fair skin tone. Uh, for reference, in Charlotte Tilbury Foundation, I wear between the shades two and three. Um, but I feel quite comfortable wearing this lipstick without a liner. If your skin tone's a bit darker than mine and you want to pair a liner with it, Iconic Nude looks fantastic with this shade. This one is Penelope Pink and it's named after Penelope Cruz. It's described as a nude pink, but to me it does look more nude than pink in the bullet. Let's see how it applies to the lips. This is Penelope Pink Swatched and really lovely lipstick. I do think on me it's pulling more of a peachy nude rather than a pinky nude, but maybe that depends on the colour of your natural lips. This next one is Angel Alessandra and this is from the Hot Lips 2 collection. I just wanted to quickly show you the lipstick case, hopefully the camera will focus for me, but there's some beautiful Black Panthers on this. It has a really 80s glam rock feel to it. Um, this is named after Alessandra Ambrosio. I really hope that I've pronounced that name correctly and I think that she is a Victoria's Secret Angel. This lipstick is described as a sunset peachy nude. This one is definitely a lot more peachier than the last and actually one of my favourite shades. And again, this one was Angel Alessandra. This one is Bitch Perfect and this is a nude tone peach lipstick. Again, one of my favourites. I think this one, along with Pillow Talk, was actually the first products that I ever bought from Charlotte Tilbury. And this one was bitch perfect. This one is Yes Honey and it was previously called Hepburn Honey. It is a new one to my collection, I've only purchased it recently and Charlotte describes this as a light peach. So yes, definitely does have some peach in the shade. I would say that this one is a bit deeper in tone than Angel Alessandra, but again, really lovely lipstick and I really like this shade. Next we have JK Magic and this is a peachy rose nude. It's part of the Hot Lips 2 collection and named after JK Rowling. Um, I do love this lipstick. It's one of my very favorite shades and I wear it very, very often. It definitely has more of a pinky tone than the last one and again that was JK Magic. This one is the shade Kim KW and it's described as the perfect nude. I've already panned one of these lipsticks, this one is a repurchase for me so obviously I am in love with this shade. And this is Kim KW Swatched. 
I would describe it as more of a pinky nude. Um, it is quite a light lipstick. As I say, it looks light on my skin and I'm very fair. I think though it does look beautiful paired with the Pillow Talk lip liner. So if you want to use this lipstick but have a bit more depth to it, then definitely try pairing it with the Pillow Talk liner. This next one is Dance Floor Princess and Charlotte describes this as a pop pink lipstick. It's part of the Hot Lips 2 range and named after Kylie Minogue. I love, love, love this shade, and when I'm wearing a cool toned eye look especially, this one is my go-to shade. This next one is In Love With Olivia, and Charlotte describes this as a sumptuous pink. Again, it's part of the Hot Lips 2 collection, and named after Olivia Pomero. Again, I'm really sorry if I'm mispronouncing any of these names, I am hopeless with them. And this is In Love With Olivia Swatched, definitely a much deeper pink than some of the others that we've just seen. Another Hot Lips 2 lipstick and this one is Karina's Star. It's described as a modern peach soft coral and it's named after Karina Lau. Really beautiful colour and if you're perhaps looking to experiment with some brighter shades this one is a lovely one to try. Really nice coral lipstick but a bit more muted so not quite as scary as some of the really bright colours. This one is Coral Kiss and I think previously it was called Coachella Coral. It's a really warm coral shade. This one is a beautiful shade and when I wear it I feel like it really lifts up my mood. It's a beautiful corally pink tone and I'm really pleased that I've got this one in my collection. Next I have Hot Emily and this is a really bright coral. I think this one is named after Emily Blunt. To me, Hot Emily is the perfect summer lipstick shade and if you've got a tan, this would look absolutely amazing. I don't know why more people don't speak about this shade on YouTube. Next up is So Red and I think this one was previously called So Marilyn after Marilyn Monroe. It's the perfect true red lipstick. Please excuse the dodgy lipstick application, I always think a red lipstick looks better with a lip liner but I'm sure you can see how gorgeous this red shade is. This one is Stoned Rose and it's described as a warm coral rose, I've used this lipstick a few times on my channel. And this is Stoned Rose Swatched. I think this shade would look very flattering on quite a wide range of different skin tones. Next we have the shade New Romance and this is from the Look of Love collection. You can see how beautiful this packaging is. And New Romance is described as a universally flattering peachy nude. Really beautiful shade and I think a lot of people would enjoy this as an everyday lipstick colour. Last of my kissing lipsticks now and this is the shade Glowing Gen. It's described as a tawny beachy nude and this one is named after Jennifer Aniston. A really beautiful rich shade and I know that I will be reaching for this one a lot in the autumn months. Moving on to the Matte Revolution formulas now and the first one is Cover Star. This is described as a nude muted apricot and it's part of her new Super Nudes collection.
And that's Cover Star Swatched, a really beautiful nude matte. I would feel comfortable wearing this as is without a liner, but I think if you do have a darker skin tone, you may want to pair it with a liner just to give it a bit more depth. Next up, I have her most iconic lipstick shade, which is Pillow Talk Original. It's described as a nude pink. This shade is flattering on so many different skin tones, but she does have a Pillow Talk Medium and a Pillow Talk Intense in her range now. So if you want this type of colour family, but in a deeper tone, definitely check those two shades out. This one is the shade Very Victoria, and it's named after Victoria Beckham. It's described as a taupe nude matte. And this is Very Victoria Swatched, another favourite shade of mine, and actually I do think it's quite a unique colour. I don't have another shade like this in my collection. Next up is Catwalking, and this is described as a neutral nude peach. This one is also part of her Super News collection. And that's Catwalking Swatched, really beautiful shade, I'm sure I'm going to be reaching for this a lot in the autumn months, but a nice nude and I can definitely see the peach undertone to it. Another one from her Super News collection and this one is Supermodel, it's described as a mid-toned muted nude rose. And this is Supermodel Swatched, definitely a lot more pink in tone compared to Catwalking. This is Mrs Kisses and I believe I got this one free with purchase. It's described as a golden peachy pink. I agree that Mrs Kisses is a golden peachy pink. It's a beautiful, warm, mid-toned nude. Moving into the red toned lipsticks now, and this one is Red Hot Susan. It's described as a tawny orange red. It's another Hot Lips 2 lipstick, and it's named after Susan Saradon. This one is another lipstick shade that I do really love. I think that it's a really unique colour and I definitely don't have another shade like this in my collection. I love that sort of orangey tone to the lipstick and I think that it really brings out the green in my eyes. This one is Tell Laura and it's a beautiful orange red. It's named after Laura Bailey and part of her Hot Lips collection. This is Tell Laura on the lips. It's a really bright statement orangey red lipstick. If you're a fan of Max Lady Danger, then you will absolutely love Tell Laura. Next, I have Patsy Red, and this is a statement red lipstick. It's another Hot Lips 2 lipstick, and it's named after Charlotte's mom, Patsy. It's a really gorgeous shade of red and I would say this has more of a pink undertone to it compared to some of the other red shades that we've seen. Next we have Red Carpet Red and Charlotte describes this as a ruby red. I would definitely agree with the description and this shade really reminds me of those 1950s old Hollywood red carpet looks. Moving into more berry toned lipsticks now and this one is Walk of No Shame which is described as a berry rose matte. And this is Walk of No Shame swatched on the lips. Charlotte has really extended her Walk of No Shame line to include eyeshadow palettes, blushes, lipsticks, liners. So if you're not a fan of the Pillow Talk pink look, then definitely take a look at this Walk of No Shame range. 
Next up is Viva La Vergara and this is a soft wine shade. It's part of the Hot Lips 2 range and named after Sofia Vergara. Really beautiful rich shade. I could see my mum reaching for a shade like this in the evening to wear out for dinner and I've certainly seen Sofia Vergara wear a shade like this on the red carpet. Another Hot Lips 2 lipstick next and this is Amazing Amal. It's a soft berry pink and it's named after Amal Clooney. Absolutely gorgeous shade, definitely does have more of a purple tone to it compared to the Viva La Vergara shade and again I think this will be a really beautiful lipstick for the autumn months. Next we have Super Fabulous and this is described as a deep rosewood brown nude. It's another one from her Super Nudes collection. This colour is really beautiful. You can see the brown undertone, you can see the rosy undertone to it as well. It reminds me a lot of Max Whirl. I think I mentioned that in my Super Nudes review and if you've not seen that I will link it in the description box below. But if you're a fan of that sort of 90s brown grungy lip I think you would really like this shade. And the last Matte Revolution lipstick I have in my collection is Pillow Talk Medium and this is described as a warm berry pink. And again, please excuse the dodgy lipstick application, but I'm sure you can get a feel for the shade. Really, really beautiful colour, and I'm so glad that she extended the Pillow Talk range to include some deeper shades. And the last two lipsticks I have in my collection are in the Pillow Talk Diamonds formula. This is a much sheerer formula, and it has a beautiful gold reflect to it. The first shade is Pillow Talk Diamonds, and this is described as a sheer pink with a veil of golden sparkle. I just love the descriptions on Charlotte Tilbury's website, it just sounds so magical and wonderful. <laughs> Really pretty on the lips and I would say this is quite a frosty formula. Um, I am aware of the reflex, when I press my lips together it does feel a little bit gritty but it's not uncomfortable in any way. And last but not least we have Lucky Diamonds and this is described as a bronze coral pink with a veil of warm golden sparkle. Really beautiful on the lips, again quite frosty so if you're not a fan of that formula then maybe this lipstick's not for you but I think if you had a tan especially or a darker skin tone this lipstick would look amazing with some bronzy toned makeup. So guys, that was my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick collection, all 33 shades swatched for you. I'm sure my lips are going to feel so sore tomorrow, but it was worth it. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving the video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I would love to have you back. I've also got a Charlotte Tilbury cheek to sheet blush collection video and a luxury eyeshadow quad collection video so I'll link those below just in case you want to check them out. Thank you so much for watching, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on my next one. Take care!